Alright, so welcome back to Stoffer Garage, guys. Today's detail is of a Ford F-150 that is completely trashed. As you guys can see from these before shots, we definitely have our work cut out for us today. But if you guys are new, hit the subscribe button down below, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on new videos. Let's go to get started. First thing you have to do is get everything out of the car. So this involves all the paper, all the trash, all the shotgun shells, all the floor mats, everything out of the vehicle that gets in the way of completing the detail. So one of the weirdest things about these details that I enjoy is the surprise that you might find underneath car seats or floor mats or underneath the seats themselves when you pull them out. You never know what you're going to find and in this case we found tons of sprinkles, tons of whatever liquefied and solidified on top of these seats. Now for this video, we're not going to do a guess how much change I found giveaway. What we're going to do instead is if you guys buy a set of Fox Clean detailing brushes, what I'm planning to do is in five packages, I'm going to slip in $100 bills for five lucky people. So if you're interested in detailing brushes and you're looking to pick up a set, now's the time because I'm going to be doing the five $100 bill giveaway. Now typically I always remove the seats first after I remove all the trash and debris, but in this case I decided to do the vacuuming first because I didn't want to pick up the seats, drop more dirt on, and to be honest it just was easier for this vehicle because of the size. Also, if you don't already, you can follow me on Instagram at Stoffer Garage or also follow me on TikTok at Stoffer Garage because on TikTok, I've been posting videos of new cars that I'm working on before they even come out. And also, there's just a lot of great compilations on there with really good music that you guys will enjoy. So go over there and follow me as well. Now one thing to keep in mind is sometimes I don't actually shampoo all of the carpet in the vehicle. I try to minimize how much I do because sometimes it can just be surface dirt that once you do vacuuming, it actually makes the carpet look like new again as well. So you don't have to actually do an entire carpet cleaning. And most of the time you hope that floor mats and maybe just the side panels by the actual door sills needs to be cleaned only to minimize how much water you introduce into the carpet. Now for the door panels or any interior plastic panels for that matter, I use Chemical Guys All Clean as my first cleaning product to get any of the dirt and grime off. And then I use my detailing brushes to get into all those nooks and crannies as well.
Now once the panels are completely clean, I use my Chemical Guys Silk Shine, and this is a UV protectant top coat that not only protects it from UV rays, but it also gives it a nice shine to make the plastic look like new again. Now all the windows I use invisible glass, plus they came out with this new brush toolkit that they have. And I've really liked using it because it helps get into some of those edges around the windows that you can't get into. And it's also really, really nice to use on the windshield. Now, like I mentioned, I delayed pulling out the seats and now is the time to do so, so I can get the rest of the dirt underneath them out of the vehicle. Plus it also makes it that much easier to clean leather or any cloth car seat once it's out of the car. And this is exactly why I removed the seats because I would have never known that there was an entire gummy bear army underneath these seats. Now on the driver's side, it was probably even worse, except there was no gummy bears, which was a bit disappointing. But you can actually see on the center console, the drips going down it. That is typically what happens in most cars when people spill coffee or drinks that you'll never get to see unless you remove the seats to get those cleaned. Now the surprising thing about this vehicle is once I did all the vacuuming, the carpets were in really, really good condition and I was really happy that majority of the dirt was only on the floor mats. So for any spots inside the vehicle that needed cleaning on the carpet, I just used Folex and a bristle brush and then use a towel to wipe it clean instead of doing the entire carpet cleaning saturation solution because that just introduces a lot of moisture. And then if you can avoid that, it is always a better option. Now for the leather seats, I'm just using my Chemical Guys All Clean again, and I didn't mention it earlier, but whenever I use my All Clean, I always dilute it, typically 10 to 20 to one, depending on how dirty the car is. And then after the seats are completely clean, I'm using a leather conditioner that not only brings back the shine of the seats, but also provides moisturization. So you don't get any of those tears or any of that stretching that happens over time. Now the floor mats is where I spent majority of my work and obviously the first step is to vacuum them followed by the lily brush to remove any hair and then I saturate them with my carpet cleaning solution and use my drill brush to get any of that dirt that's embedded to the surface before I use my extractor to suck up all of the dirt and debris.
And this is the extractor port of just the driver's side floor mat. And then it just shows how much dirt was pulled out of it and how dirty these things really were. But by after doing the second pass, I brought the floor mats back to probably 85 to 90% of the way there to new. But a lot of the fading that you see is just discoloration that happens over time. Now for the driver's side floor mat in particular, there was like this gum adhesive or something that was on it that the drill brush took care of. But then I also used my All Clean, which is a very good degreasing type solution as well as a last step because there seemed to be some oily substances in the fibers themselves as a final step to cleaning this carpet. Now sometimes with these floor mats, using the extractor and the drill brush and that whole process is great for a lot of them, but sometimes if you do have super, super dirty ones, I advise you to definitely use your pressure washer as a first step to get majority of the dirt out up front. Now for the remaining floor mats, just doing one process of extraction was enough to make these things look like new again.
So after the floor mats are done, I went ahead and continued on the rest of the interior panels. And in this detail, I kind of went out of process a little bit. And sometimes doing everything in complete process can be a little bit monotonous and kind of make it boring. So sometimes I like to mix it up. It might not be the fastest way, but for me personally, it just makes it more entertaining for yourself as a detailer, especially on some of these longer ones. Now on the driver's side leather seat and on the door panel in particular, the owner of this vehicle does painting on the side sometimes. So there were certain spots that had paint on them. So I used some cleaner to remove the paint from those seats. And then I'm using my leather conditioner to clean those up. A while back I did a Ford F-350 King Ranch that had leather seats that had the same color as these and I remember how well they turned out at the end after they were cleaned and conditioned and these were no exception. These turned out amazing as well. Now on the driver and the passenger side floor plates, they have this platinum label in the middle of them. And what I found was is you couldn't get all of the dirt in between them. So I took off these sill plates, vacuumed underneath it on the carpet, but then I also went ahead and removed the metal piece just by lifting up these tabs. And it might seem excessive, but it just gives it that much more of a thorough detail. Now the next thing I do is I like to clean up the steering wheel and kind of work my way from the left to the right of the car. And that includes hitting the center console, removing all the cup holders, getting all that dirt and grime that collects underneath those before replacing and cleaning those up.
Now on the shifter and the center console cup holders, like I've done in previous details, the trim chrome pieces typically around those bezels all pop off and remove. My recommendation if you're trying to do this for the first time, work really, really slowly and use something that's got a plastic tip to it. So that way you're not scratching your plastic interior or you're possibly breaking something. These pieces are very, very delicate, but if you work your way slowly around those pieces, you'll see where their connection points are. So that way you can remove them as well and make your detail that much more thorough. Now for the center console screen and all the different switches on the climate controls, I sprayed my bristle brush with my cleaning solution first and then used my brush on the surfaces so that way I wasn't spraying an excessive amount of solution on all those controls. Now the rear seats were definitely the portion of the vehicle that needed the most time to clean because of the amount of sprinkles, ice cream, whatever was in the seats cleaned up. Now when it comes to using a drill brush on any seats in particular, I have two different types. I have a medium bristle and a soft bristle. And especially for leather, I like to use the soft bristle brush. It takes a little bit longer, but it also ensures that you don't cause any scratching or tearing of the seats in general. One thing on these seats that I had to use is I have these pick tools that are typically used for removing you know, radiator hoses or gaskets, but using those pick tools between the seams and lightly using them to scrape, it allowed me to get a lot of the grime that the drill brush wasn't getting out easily because it had solidified. And the last step is to condition the seats and make them look like new again. Now make sure you watch all these before and after clips to see the entire transformation of the vehicle. And by the end of this detail, this truck looked like brand new again, and the owner was extremely pleased with the results. So if you guys are new and you haven't subscribed, smash it down below, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in next week's detail.